everyone and welcome back to Kato. I'm Pen and I will be your host on this adventure. So where are we at? Right, we need to go back down here to the story chalet. Where is that done here? We gotta find a way to get above the clouds. Oh, hello. Welcome back girls. It's always nice to see you. How can I help? We need to get above the clouds since Kato's granny can't land her airship. Hmm. Who's what can't land their what? Sorry, it's a long story. Maybe you need. Maybe you'll read about it one day? Uh, do you know of anywhere that's tall enough that we can get above the clouds? Hmm. Actually, the top of the story chalet goes pretty high up. But it's just a small house. It might appear that way, but you'd be surprised. I once found myself on the very top floor. There were no books up there, but the view was breathtaking. Okay, oh wow, okay. Can you show us how to get up there? I'd be happy to, young miss. But I haven't reached the top floor again since. This can be a complicated place, I'm afraid. So I can show you what I know. Please follow me. Okay. Right. Uh, here we are. This looks more like a basement than a top floor. Yes, yes, it's just a basement. But let uh, but let me regale you a moment. Uh, it was a normal morning many moons ago. I was doing my rounds at the chalet, uh, reading the new chapters. Feeding the spiders, that sort, uh, that sort of thing. I was still half asleep and wander, wandered into a door I didn't recognize. Before I knew it, I was rocketing upwards and it spilled me out on the top floor. That sounds more like a dream you had. So like an elevator? Uh, it's always a possibility, but I spent the entire day up there and my sunburn was very real. I had the most glorious views of the forest. I'd never been up so uh, so high. Uh, I've hoped to find my way back there ever since. With the smarts on you go gals, uh, I bet we can figure out how. I'm sure that story... I'm not sure the story quite adds up, but it's the only lead we have. Let's look around and see what we can find, Kato. Okay. Basement one. The strength of a tree is measured by the growth of its roots, as they say in the wildwood. When the mother tree is the strongest of them all. When fully grown, the mother tree's root system extends across the entire world, deep underground. This growth process takes roughly a thousand years, based on the sapling used to spur her regrowth. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, I got some stuff here. A rarely seen door allows a scant few storytellers access to the observation deck. Someone scrawled a message across the page. The top floor is real and I found the way there. I don't have enough space to fully explain, but this should get you started. Good luck, future story tender. A small scroll of paper fluttered down. Okay. Whoa. What the fuck does that mean? Well, I've got a picture of that now. Okay. The Water Seeker. The Water Seekers were highly revered in their tribe, being responsible for the survival of their people. This resolute group would seek out new water sources, often journeying far from home. Their senses were highly attuned to the desert environment around them to aid them in their search. Once a new water source was located, the tribe would migrate to join them, camels and all. Okay. The spotted sand beetle wove its way through the burning desert sands, an assignment from the captain of the water seekers. It bore a message that a new oasis had been found. Uh, 
that it was time for the rest of the tribe to join the Seekers. This particular species of beetle could absorb the harsh rays of the sun, channeling them into energy to power its sand shoveling mandibles. Its natural predators included the prancing asp, the luminescent fox, the poison, wait, Paulson's tarantula, uh, and Paulson's tarantula, but it, it evaded them all. The beetle arrived just in time as the tribe's water supply dwindled, and uh, enjoyed a reward of candy cactus nectar for its troubles. Cute! Okay. So, let's see. We've got symbols on this. So, so I'm going to put it up here. So, that one there. And then this one here. So do I need to connect things? Hmm. Um wait, that doesn't need to be there. I need the whole way is like this. Oh wait, you need to be like this. Okay. I'm not seeing any more symbols on here. Um. Because this one doesn't have a door. So if we put this one here like this. Okay. Alright. So is it like this? There there is a door down there now. Okay, let's go see what that does. Okay, I'm going to read this while I'm here. The little cartographer had just barely missed her granny at the iceberg, but she knew she was close. All she had to do now was find somewhere tall enough to get above the clouds. They handed back to the story chalet. Short as it was, it was or was it? Okay. So... I've now opened this doorway here. I didn't even notice that there. That's the door. You found it. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Elevator. There was no door to cut it. Like, to stop people from getting cut to pieces. Okay. Whoa. That's so big. All right, it's the mother tree. She's so big already. Wow, I've never seen this high up. Is anyone else dizzy? My, it's just as magnificent as I remember. And uh, would you get a load of that tree? There, I'm sorry, girls. It looks like we're still below the clouds, even up here. Uh, don't worry, Kato. We just need to get a bit higher. How about on top of that enormous tree? It's hard to tell, but it looks like it goes even higher up than we are now. And maybe it's still growing. I'd say it's worth a try. Uh, I'm going to stay up here and enjoy the view for a bit. Who knows when I'll find my way up here again. Thanks for the help, Mr. Storytender. Come on, Kato. Let's make like a tree and visit that tree. Sure. Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Best of luck on your journey, girls. It's like vials of stuff up here. And thanks for helping me find this place. I'll never forget it again. Uh, time for some elevator action. Woo! We did it!
Going on a journey. Oh, hey, it's everybody again. Welcome, beardless messengers. Mother's been expecting you. She told me to gather everyone here uh, that the time for family has come. Ooh, what the heck? Mother says thank you for your help in her rebirth. And now it's time for her to help you. You may enter her embrace. Why does it sound like I'm dying? Lend mother the energy of the land and she will take you where you want to go. Are you ready to head up? This is so exciting. Yeah. To the treetops. Okay. Whoa. Sure. Don't wait for me. We're up so high. That's my island in the distance. Check out this view, Kato. Are we finally high up enough? It looks like the clouds are still above us. Hmm, let's have a look around. Maybe we can spot somewhere even taller than this. You can see the whole world from up here. It almost looks like a map. What are you doing? This is so exciting. You're holding such a big piece of the map. Are you putting everything together? Connect every piece of the map. Uh, whoa, okay. Um, right. Guess let's do that. Is there a specific way this needs to be connected? Check that there. I I don't know how this is gonna work. Okay. Put that in there. Uh, complete the map. That was my island way out there. Whoa. Okay. Now this one. Oh wait, I should be able to do. Hmm. So if I bring this all down, right? Shit, I forgot about that. Okay, let's start by doing this. Okay. Slip that piece in there. That piece, that piece, that map is completed. Oh, that's the grassland oh, we first sailed to. Feels like forever ago. Oh, okay. This one's a little bit more complicated. Um, bring it all down. There. Okay. So, if we slap this on the end, then we can just do this the same as it was, pretty much. Okay, that's that one done. Uh, that's the forest all around us. Hmm, do you feel that rumbling? Oh, this map is completed. Story Chalet. 
Hi, Mr. Storytender. Okay, this one's done as well. That's the desert you travel to. It's enormous. Okay, the volcano. Um... What? How do I connect these? Oh wait, there's a piece right there. There. Okay. Slap that piece on. That piece right there. Grab these. Okay. There. That one is done too. The volcano. But that rumbling is getting stronger. Is it going to erupt again? Okay. There's only two pieces not attached here. Okay. Um, should be able to slap you here. And that one there. I really miss those iceberg clubs. The Carter, their rumbling is getting serious. What's going on? Whoa. Oh god, whoa, what's happening? Hold on. Oh god. We're getting a lot taller. Ooh. Uh, I think we're above, above the clouds? You did it, Kato! We're above the clouds! Uh, can you see your granny? Uh, yes. There they are! We found them! Yay! We did it! Granny! Kato, my sweet! Oh, I knew we'd find each other, dear girl. I was only, it was only a matter of time. Or should I say, a mapper? Ew. <laughs> uh, you've been so resourceful to track me here. And you found all the pieces of our map. A true master cartographer, just like your granny. And who's your companion? Hello, ma'am, I'm Shannon. Uh, I would say I've heard so much about you, but Kato is a little on the quiet side. <laughs> she's she's the best, though. Yeah, she's told me so many things. And we've been to so many cool places. And, and, and I want to hear all about them, child. But now uh, that we're all together, why don't you show me firsthand, a few firsthand? Uh, we can take the airship and we'll use the map that you girls recovered. You can introduce me to some of your new friends and take me to your favorite spots. <gasps> Shannon. Uh, thanks. I'd love to join. Lead the way, Kato. Oh, why did they nearly fall out? That's kind of scary to think about. The kid just nearly fell to their death after all that they've done. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a cute little ending. We did it! I can see why you wanted me to meet him. What a fine specimen. Oh, why, thank you, ma'am. It's good to see you. I was looking to the bear, you lout. <laughs> that makes more sense. But it's nice to see you again, too, Lumpa. Cherub is so confused. <laughs> I'm just so glad we're both back in with our precious girls. Uh, you, you said it, sister, and what a little slice of heaven this is. Uh, we would never have found the oasis without your fearless little lady there. I'm mighty proud of her. And speaking of mighty, those camels carry quite... Oh, okay, apparently the camels are stinky. Now listen up, students, we have a special guest today. And she traveled around the world and seen countless amazing things. Have you seen plants? Of course, and rare animals, exotic foods, and possible landscapes. What kind of plants? Oh, um, so many kinds. Sprawling vulture vines, carnivorous cacti, or even a visible orchid. Oh, we've seen those already. Phew, tough crowd. 
guess this kid's really like plants. Now that's hot lava spice that keeps me young. Uh, I'm so glad you like it, Granny Ma'am. I think they said. A feature of our at your own risk menu. It's a true compliment to the chef. Uh, so let me get this straight. You held the coming of age ceremony for four. Oh wait. Now you mentioned it was more of a fishing competition. In any case, mermaids were there. That sounds like quite the competition. Indeed, I'm still not sure if I won. Uh, are you, you 15? Your little girl is quite the, has quite the talent. I've been looking for the seventh iceberg for years and she found it in an afternoon. Yep, we cartographers will do that. An apple doesn't fall far from the, tr from the grandmother tree. Uh, okay. This is going so fast it's hard for me to keep up. Now the story shall lay. It hasn't aged a day, unlike me. Uh, are you the artful aeronaut? Oh, wow, I'm a huge fan. I read every issue of your daring tales. Shh. And keep it down, Sunny. Those days are long behind me. Though I suppose I still manage to sneak in a daring tale every once in a while. Ew, will you sign my first issue? The little cartographer and her granny finally reunite in, in a warm embrace. The crisp air rustled through the leaves around them. She felt so happy to be back with her favorite person in the world. Uh, she has also made a new best friend and discovered a newfound taste for adventure. Thanks for the invite, guys. It sounds like so much fun. But I hear the ocean whispering my name. I still have more exploring of my own to do. Uh, it was lovely meeting you, Granny. Thank you for sharing your stories. And you, child. I'm so glad you and Kato found one another. Aww. How cute. I'll miss you so much, Kato, but I'm sure we'll find each other again soon. Best friends never stay gone for long. Kato and Shannon. Aww, that's so cute! Yay! That was such a cute game! I love it! Oh, that's so cool! That's such a, a cute little game. Oh my god! Okay! Whoa! Is there more? A letter? Dear Shannon, it's so nice uh, to be back with Granny, but I miss you lots. The skies haven't been, the skies have been beautiful. It's only been a week, but we've already seen so many amazing things. We've even made it through another storm. We've prepared for anything now. Uh, thank you for being such a great friend to me. I hope you find wherever you're meant to be, and I'm sure I'll see you there soon. Also. You won't believe what I found hiding on an airship. One of the iceberg pups smuggled aboard. <laughs> Good thing she likes seafood stew. Anyway, we all miss you. Write me back when you can. Love, Kato. P.S. Granny says hi. Aw. Kato, I miss you too. Oh god, a dog's stuck onto their boat too. Huh? Oh my god! Oh, where'd you come from, good girl? Oh my god. And that's how they died. And and they never find her again. <laughs> the end. That's adorable. Alright. Alright, that didn't need to be so cute at the end. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, I guess if this is the end, which it looks like it is, I am going to wrap this up. So, I really like this game. It was adorable. If you know of any other games like this, please let me know because I would love to play more of them. Um, but for now, uh, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and join the embarrassments, which is what I call my community. And I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at in your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!